What's up guys, this is Issei. Today I'll be showing you how to make your own template in FL Studio 2024. That way, template is a way for you to access your daily tools much easier and it's much effective, you know? Like, why not have your favorite EQ right there and ready when you open up FL Studio instead of putting all these effects on or grouping all these things and all that when you could have it ready when you get started. So this is what I'm going to teach you. I'm going to show you. Maybe you already know how to do it. Maybe you don't follow me through how I set up my template. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So this is FL Studio. This is the new latest one. So what you have on this side is start a new project and you can start with these templates right here. All these different genres of music, hip hop, trap, electronic, EDM, that kind of thing. And what it does is when you click on it, it will give you, maybe you'll load FL keys and maybe flex, maybe citrus, that kind of thing and have those sounds ready for you and have those drums also ready in the drum rack. So that's what a template is, it's just having things ready for you so that way it's easy access. So let's go ahead and start with an empty one because we're gonna be creating our own. So now we have an empty one. Let's go ahead and uh, I like to set up flex. So let's go ahead and find flex. Now we have flex open. I would like to go to pianos. Let's do some rogues. Okay, delete that. So I'll, I only like to have one instrument on my uh, channel rack just because I don't want to overload things. And I just like to start with a clean canvas so that way I could pick my instruments or my plugins when I know what I'm going for. So I just like to start with some clean sound that I can mess around with, get a feel for, then change it up later on. The next thing I like to do is set up my BPM. So my BPM, you know, if you're depending on what you're going for, what your style of music you like to make, you might want to set it up around that BPM when you're making your template. So that way, you know, when you get started, when you're starting, it starts on that template. All right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna do like 120, so that way I could bring it down if I need to. And the next thing is the mixing rack. What I like to do is the mixing rack is I like to group things for my instruments, for my buses, for my drums, for my recordings. So that way I'm gonna use all these four tools or five tools, making a beat for sure. So, or making uh, samples, orchestra, whatever it might be, I know I will be using these. So I like to set those groups up in my uh, mix, right? And I will show you how I do that. So I, so the first five, I usually make it my send buses. Uh, control, highlight. Go ahead, right click, group them, enter. Right click again, uh, change color. I like to make my sun buses dark so that way I can see them a lot better. And you can just name them. I'm just, I already have a template so I'm just be doing initials really. So this will be instrument bus. This would be reverb bus. This would be uh, like effects. This would be like vocal effects. And this would be drums. So I have all those now. <clears throat> effects instrument bus so all my buses so then now my instrument i like to choose at least like 10 11 how many ever you 
it just depends on you you know i like i know i'll use more than five instruments for sure every time i make something so i'm gonna go ahead and give me some space High, right click group these boom color all these like light blue or light something so that way they represent instrument you know boom and these will be control highlight let's do about like about this many group these and these will be my drums slightly dark but not as dark as my uh, send buses change color then this would be my recording do the red enter and these would be group group about three of these and this group will be my print after I record somewhere I drop all my uh, vocals like lead vocals so let's say PV so, you know print vocal this is my ad lips this is my hums and then highlight them again one more time and then randomize the colors and there you go so this is the most this is where I do my most work is my mix channel just because I want things in in order so that way I could find them a lot easier so let's highlight like the last five right and I just bring all those down all right these right here mess with these just like this something like this because you know you're gonna need some headroom Something like that, pan this one, pan that one, pan this one, pan that one, pan this one. Pan. And you never, I never know what instruments are gonna go in these that I'm panning, but I know that I won't pan at least my first or two instruments. Then same thing over here. Like I know I won't pan my hi-hats unless I'm using panning left and right, then I'll be using a plug-in, so. All these will be like crashes, symbols, that kind of thing. So I will be panning those and toms, and you know, that's why I'm lowering these already. Cause then my sn then my kick right here, my snare, I me mean, hi hat, somewhere around there, open hat, you know. these I'll just all these I'll just go ahead and highlight all these right here all my buses and just lower them just a little bit and all these my recording about, about 4 dB all these then I like come into my master channel and just put a soft clipper on here Boom. so that's that then one more thing I like to do is find my recording and it's on 29 come over here to 29 track mode audio track record so this one we're gonna make it the print because after we record we're gonna drop it down to the print right and the lead vocals right so let's do like let's take like four of these and group it to the lead vocal the print group it above track so now if I have more than a couple takes on the vocals I could drop them right here 
So now let's do the same thing for the ad libs. Track mode, audio, ad libs. Uh, let's do about like three. Control up or control slide up. Mm, go ahead and boom. Then let's do one for the humming. Then this one, I like to do like six or five because when you do humming or any kind of singing, you stack vocals. So I like to leave room for this. So I'll usually grab about good amount, like mm, about that many amount and just group it. Boom. Then you can just click this little arrow and it'll hide it. So that way, if things start to look crazy, you can just do that. So all these top tracks are all my instrument, drums, that kind of thing. Then all vocals and everything else down here. Then anything else I need. Then the same thing if I needed. If I had some vocals that it was for orchestra or something, I could still put it on my print. Then whatever effects I have on here, it will automatically affect whatever audio I drop on here. That's what's cool about the new FL updates they've been doing with the recording. It's been super clutch. So, uh, this is how my template would look. Set up my BPM. Set up one instrument that I like to, you know, play out when I start out FL Studio. Also, my uh, my mix my mix rack, my mix, uh, yeah, the mixer. That's probably the most important thing. I like to group everything, make sure everything is right. And uh, I don't do it on a playlist. I don't group anything on the playlist besides vocals because my instruments change all the time. My range change, what I'm doing changes. If I'm making a sample, making orchestra, making hip hop, making R&B, whatever I might be doing, it changes. So I don't like to group instruments or name instruments because nine out of 10, I won't use the same instruments I used, you know what I mean, just 30 minutes ago or 40 minutes ago. So unless I'm making the same type of vibe, then yeah. But this gives me the freedom of, you know I mean, open mind, open canvas. So yeah, let me just come over here. Then you, you save as, then it's, then it's right here, template. Then you save under template. So let's go something like, do like YouTube, right? Save it under there. You would come over here, open this up, or up, or come over here. General, general settings. Come down here, default template. Change it to YouTube or what, whatever you create, of course. Then right here. Then change it to YouTube. Then once you exit at FL Studio, then you open it back up. It'll open up in that template that you created if you don't have the latest FL Studio. But if you have the latest FL Studio, it'll prompt you the that interface that said all the projects you recently worked on, also all the templates you could choose from, and it will have yours on the top. And you go ahead and click on that, then everything is open. Just be mindful. The more plugins you load, all that kind of thing on your template, it, the longer it takes to uh, open up. That's why I only keep one instrument, and I usually just focus on my mix channel and and the uh, BPM, and that's about it, man. And the vocals and uh, that kind of thing. So and uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think, man. Thank you for watching. I'm out.